It's been 150 days since the moon has been on a collision course headed right toward Earth. As the moon gets closer, ocean tides are rising, our cities are being flooded and destroyed, volcanoes and earthquakes are erupting around the world. The moon's gravitational pull is getting stronger and wreaking havoc on our planet. But wait, how did we get here? Let's go back. With just one year until the moon hits Earth, T minus 300 days. Okay, the moon started 384,000 kilometers away from Earth, but now it's 250,000 kilometers away. But with the moon this much closer, it's heavily affecting our oceans. Rising tides are reaching up to five meters. This is flooding our coastal cities. Places like New York, Miami, London would all be underwater. Any animals that live on the coasts, like sea turtles and pelicans, would be displaced due to the rising water. And the salt water from the ocean could leach into our freshwater supplies, leading to contamination. T minus 100 days. We're now just 100 days from impact, and things are only getting worse. One of the biggest things you'll notice is the changing weather all around the world. Climate patterns may completely shift causing an increase in hurricanes and violent storms. Weather is one thing, but what's even worse? The volcanoes and earthquakes. The moon's gravity exerts force on the Earth's crust, and if it gets closer, well, then the force increases, causing an extreme strain on the Earth's mantle and leading to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Under this increased gravitational force, volcanoes could erupt all over the world. The ring of fire along the Pacific Ocean would be particularly vulnerable. T minus zero days. Okay, the moon is now just 18,000 kilometers away, which happens to be the approximate distance of the Roche limit. Due to the gravitational shift, the moon would start to rupture and break apart into pieces, ranging from tiny dust particles to asteroid-sized rocks. Now, Instead of these pieces falling down to Earth and knocking down buildings or impacting the ground like the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, they would continue to orbit and create a ring around our planet. We wouldn't be getting as much light due to the asteroid ring blocking out portions of the sun's rays. This would affect photosynthesis. Less photosynthesis means less oxygen. So any life that did survive would now be dealing with trying to breathe and survive with Earth's decreased oxygen level. The moon's collision course with Earth will be happening any day now. Is there any way we could stop it?